Hey, wizards! Guess what? It's Kieran Trollcaller. I'm here for the Myth Walkthrough one more time. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm very excited. We are now in Avalon, if you haven't noticed, and I'm pretty stoked about all the questing we're going to be doing here over the next week or two. So right now, first off, we need to get in here because we've got a fire drake. Yeah, a fire spitter that we have to get a sample of venom for so we can help a... A knight in need. Yes, yes. We are here in Avalon where we have knights and heroes and kings. Like the inside of a smith's furnace. And villains. You hear the horrible fire spitter up ahead. <laughs> Let's take him on, guys. Let's take him on. Oh, my goodness. Well, very, very good. I hope everybody's doing well today. I'm doing exceptionally well. I'm always doing exceptionally well because I get to hang out with you guys while I play video games here. So thank you so much, guys. Um, of course, you know, everybody's always welcome to leave some comments there if you want. If you haven't, if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. Every time you do a like, it really helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd ask you to consider subscribing because it really helps the channel grow. And I appreciate everybody who subscribed up till now. We are steadily moving up and getting more subscribers every day. Thanks, guys, for all the views that this channel is getting. It's really helping us to start to gain some momentum. So I appreciate all, all that time. Now, I've been working to make sure that we don't have any of the audio problems that we did last week. So... Thank you very much for those guys who are patient and we're keeping up with everything. I do appreciate it. Now, what is our goal today? Well, our goal today is I believe we're going to be on the high road most of the day. Yeah. From what I remember, we're going to be sitting here on the high road. So I'd like to complete all the quests for the high road, if at all possible. Now, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do it or not. Okay. Um, definitely is a, it's a lot to do. Yep. Definitely is a lot to do. Also, let's consider we're in a new world. We got tougher bosses. We got tougher mobs. So we definitely got to be prepared for all that because, yeah, we are in Avalon, if you haven't noticed. Now, just so you guys know, I'm sitting at level 177, and I have done every single side quest up to this point. Yep, I have done every single side quest up to this point. So you can expect, if you're here in Avalon, um, if you've been doing every single side quest, you're going to be sitting right at about level 77, which puts you about, let's be honest with you, about eight levels ahead of other wizards. Now, sometimes that's good, sometimes it's not. It just kind of depends on, on the way you think about it. But I think it's been working out pretty good for this wizard. It's definitely given me the ability to get a, be able to handle bosses a little bit easier and be able to strike out pretty hard. Okay, so there we go. That is one of the problems that we've been seeing now, guys, is that with the new critical system, um, fights that would have been one shots are not fights anymore. Now, I'll be honest with you, if you were listening to me at all in any of my early play, I, I often said that the critical, the way they had it after the fall update was OP. Yeah, the critical system was definitely overdone and it was, I think I personally thought it was actually kind of harming, you know, the game in, in a few ways. And that was unfortunate because, you know, I really, really enjoy this game. But you know what, when the devs make a mistake or when the devs do something that I don't agree with, you know, I'm going to throw it out there because how are they going to know? How are they going to know that maybe the critical system needs to be reworked? Now, the good news, I guess they watched it go on for about four or five months, right, before, since the last update. And I think their final um, their final decision on it was saying, yeah, the critical system's jacked. Yep, definitely. And with that came a... Um, with that came, obviously, some adjustments to the critical system. You know, I've seen some other wizards out there putting out that it's been nerfed. Um, yeah, I think it has been. But honestly, guys, if you were noticing, up till this point, every time we were in a fight, we were guaranteed the critical. You know, we really were. And honestly, criticals, there shouldn't be a guarantee to critical. I don't see there should be. I mean, I don't think it should be. I think a critical should be something when you make that really good hit at that right perfect time. And um, ooh. and I, I just don't think it should be that big of a, um, it, sh it shouldn't be something you rely on every single time. Now, I'll be honest with you, I kind of got to the point that I was relying on it all the time, you know, because it does, it made your fights easier. You know, you're able to do one-shotting bosses, even though I was a little bit higher level. I mean, never used to be able to do that before. But um, yeah, that's that's the way it is. So I think what they're trying to do is, as they're upgrading things, they've been working really hard at trying to balance out the game, and that's always been a big deal with them. Wow, 
Check that out. Okay. Um, I think we're pretty close. Maybe we can go ahead and get a frog in there and finish this guy off. Yeah, these fights are definitely getting a little bit tougher. Now, I'm sure part of that is that now that I am up into a higher level world, you know, the fights are going to be more difficult. But also, notice I'm not criticaling every moment anymore. Yeah, I'm not criticaling every moment. So definitely, you know, that's something to think about. Let's see how let's see how this fight hits. And I also started noticing the bosses are blocking, and I'm blocking more often. It used to be nobody was blocking there after the last update, but now there are critical blocks going on. So is that enough? Oh my goodness, we are so close to defeating this guy. Oh my, we are definitely in a predicament. I gotta save up some pips so I can reshuffle. Well, he would have resisted pretty heavy on that anyways. I was just taking a hit to take a hit. Yeah, I criticaled on the wand on the wand move. That was great. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have shouldn't have kicked the rat. Oh boy, we could be in trouble here, guys. Now, one of the things I have not been taking advantage of in this game for 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 a while now is the is the um is the minions. Wow, should we summon Fasanji? Let's summon Fasanji. If I die, I die, right? Right. It's okay. Let's summon Fasanji. Because I haven't really had a chance to work with this guy much. And I think, you know, maybe I should have brought him in earlier. He might have been... He might have been pretty helpful. Fasanji Lore Singer. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's definitely going to be helpful. Check it out. He's coming out swinging with some frogs. Ooh, I loved how he did some twirling there. With, uh, with the um, swords there. That was pretty awesome. Nice animation, guys. Nice animation. Is it enough? It's enough! Here! Yeah. Okay, guys. It looks like I'm going to have to start war leaning on my guys a little bit more. Or should I say, leaning on my minions. I'd like to help minions. a sample of Firespitter Venom. You are careful not to get any on you. Awesome, guys. So we got our Firespitter Venom. We didn't die. Of course, somebody's in the comments going to tell me about how extremely lucky I was that I didn't die. But hey, you know what? Sometimes you're lucky, right? Sometimes you are lucky. Yep. Nothing wrong with being lucky, guys. Nothing wrong with being lucky. There we go. There's our favorite gal, Fiona. That's a venom will do nicely. Whoa! To prepare the salve, I need some bulbs of Ale Blanc, a medicinal plant with wondrous properties. Please fetch me some. Very good. Let's go ahead and get some of these. Um. Ale Blancs. I think I've seen... Oh, there we see. They're, they're all over the place. Let's go grab some. Ale Blanc for me. Yeah, we won't go for those. Those might get us like... Ale Blanc for me. Oh, is that... No, that's a wooden chest. Oh, some Ale Blanc for me. How about some more Ale Blanc for me? Oh, I, got, I gotta collect six of these? Uh... Okay, let's knock out these hobgoblin themes here really quick. Apparently, I I, I was just 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 a tad too close to them, just just barely, just like I was. I don't think they should have pulled me. Yeah, I'm just going to say it out loud. I don't think I should have been pulled there. I wasn't that close. I wasn't. I I I, I declared I wasn't that close. Hey, by the way, guys, if you are enjoying at all the content, you should come on out and hang out with us on Twitch. I stream four times a week. I usually do um, some Wizard 101 two to three times a week, Minecraft once a week, as well as um, I'm also knocking out my Pirate 101 Wizard, uh, Pirate 101 Pirate as well. And he's all sorts of fun, guys. So if you're enjoying the content at all and you think it might be fun to hang out with us live, we talk about all sorts of things and would love to hear from you guys if you happen to be there. Please come on and check us out on stream. Hopefully we'll see you. And um, there you go. Is that the last of those guys? Yes, it is. Nice. Okay. Just got to get a couple more Ale Blancs. And I think I got one more there. Another Ale Blanc. 
pink dandelions. I wish I got better seeds than pink dandelions. Okay. Anyways, one Fiona yellow knife. Ah, that miracle clove. Very good, very good. To crush the ale blanc and make the salve, I'll need my mortar and pestle. I lost them to hobgoblin fiends in the area. Get them. Well, we have some experience fighting hobgoblin fiends. In fact, that's who we were just like messing with earlier. So let's go ahead and take down a couple more hobgoblin fiends for her mortar and pestle. Yep. Now we're now the area of the game that we're kind of in right now. We're in the we're in the part of the game where they got really heavy on the defeat and collects. I mean, you know, the fourth arc you see them too, but I mean the third arc you see them too, but not nearly as dependent as the second arc. So you can you can tell by you know me having to go back and fight these guys quite a few times. I don't think anybody will ever be fought as much as the Blue Horn mercenaries. Yeah. The or the big horn, oh, well, the, you know, back in Zafaria, yeah, yeah. I made some, I made some jokes about that. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can't send these guys on to meet their maker. Woo! There we are. There we are. And are we through? Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so now we've got the mortal and mortar and pestle. Let's talk to Fiona again. You got them back. I'm sure the fiends were crushed. Yes, they were. There, I've made the strongest antidote I can. Hurry to Sir Pike and tell him to apply this salve to his wounds. It will neutralize the venom at once. Most excellent. We've got the solution. Let's go catch up to Sir Pike. I think we appear pretty close to him, right? Oh, yes, we do. There is Sir Pike de Lago. I'm not dead yet. Ho -ho -ho. There he goes. Come on, Pike. Oh, that feels much better. Ah, uh -huh, yes. The great the wizard Merle Ambrose sent you to seek young Perry? Ha! Perry is now a white bearded knight. Oh. He lives along the high road, but I'm not sure where. Sumner Fieldgold would know. He is a merchant and knows the high road well. Well, let's head off in that direction. Let's go ahead and just take up the side Riches. quest real quick. But we gotta go find Summerfield Gold here on the high road. Absolutely. Hey, there's Summerfield Gold. Be still, my beating heart. A wizard come to save us. What's wrong? Sir Pike saved me from the Fraudlings, but we lost several bags of grain that are desperately needed here. That's not good. Can you find the bags of grain in the high road and bring them back? Once the supplies are secured, I'll help you find Sir Perry. Sounds good. Okay, so we're going to go help him with some supplies. But I think uh, there's a couple of people I need to talk to before we get too much farther. Because I want to make sure I grab the... Oh, I guess I can't talk to them yet. Okay. Not a problem. So let's go to the high road. Let's grab these grains. Oh, look. There's Meteorologist Burke. Can we buy another thing? Ooh, Extract Worm? That could be pretty good. We're going to train that, guys. We might want to go ahead and extract some worms. So that we can use those guys to um, fight alongside us. Because I think this might be the way to go. Okay. To the high road. And I saw the grains already. So let's go ahead and grab these sacks of grain. Of course, you know, they're right where mobs appear. Huh. Well, at least I got the sack of grain before I got sucked in, right? There we go. Let's go ahead and do this. I was not being careful there. Yep, I'm definitely got to slow down, you know? Can't let, her, can't, life just, can't let life just drag you through so quickly. Boy, I'll tell you what. Whiz is hopping tonight. Yeah, Avalon is popular. See all those wizards running around? There's Isabella Sky saying, oop. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I love it when the servers are working and there's people all over the place. You know? I, it just makes it so much more fun when there's people people hanging out and people being people playing. Okay, yeah, I'm not one of those guys that likes to go to that to go to a realm that there's like nobody there, you know, and be all by myself. Very, very good. Charmalodia. 
My goodness. Okay, here we go. Is it my turn yet? There we go. Let's see how you guys enjoy this. Aha! And there we go. That works for me. That works for me. Okay, let's go get the rest of these grains and let's try not to get pulled anymore. Okay, two more sacks of grain and we are there. So let's see. If we head back over this direction. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah. Well, okay, so there we go. These poor guys, they keep getting stuck in this fight. <laughs> Christina Isgem and Isabel Sky, very cool. Well, I hope they're having a great day. I'm having a great day. Even though I got pulled again, I'm having a great day. Okay, guys, so again, what we're trying to do is we want to try to get through the high road today. That is our goal for this episode. Yeah, unfortunately, we're waiting for all the spells to finish going through so I can go ahead and get popped in. There we go, I am in now. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead, Humongo Frog, finish them all, finish them all, make them all pay, yes. Hmm, hanging out with an ice here, very cool. Oh, I like her outfit. Yeah, I bet you that's a pack outfit, very, very nice. And the pet, ooh, I like the pet. That little liger, I think that's a liger pet. The lion and tiger? Yeah, I haven't seen one of those yet. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a liger. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I hadn't seen that pet yet before. It's probably a pack pet, but hey, what you gonna do, right? Bye bye my hobgoblin fiend. Ooh, I'm a goblin smasher. That is nice. Okay, let's go ahead and... Good. We got to go talk to Summoner Field Gold. I love getting new badges, guys. That's another thing you can do if you haven't gone after. You can go You can go badge hunting as a wizard if you like badges. Ah, now the good folk here will be able to weather a hard season. That's Let good news. Find Sir Perry Gilliam. His cottage is on the high road. A short way past the wood witch, Fiona Yellow Knight. Oh, easy enough to find. Okay, let's go talk to P Sir Perry Gilliam. Sir Perry Gilliam. Now, if you change the P to T, that's Terry Gilliam, who was part of the comedy troupe, the Monty Python. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Monty Python, but one of the most hilarious comedy, comedy troops ever, ever born. They were out of England. And those guys were hilarious. And um, we're going to find different things here that relate to them. So let's talk to Sir Perry. Cursed wolf, thy fury inward on thyself, pray and consume thee. Okay, that doesn't make oh, any sense wait. to me. You're not a red thorn badger. Oh, no, not me. Ah, I've heard stories of a young heroic wizard who defeated Taranak the horrid fire spitter. Might you be the one in the same? Why, yes I am. If you can prove yourself, I'll help with the noble quest to find the Sword of King. Sounds excellent. The fire spitter's spawn must be vanquished. They live in a poisoned well near her cave. Do this and survive. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So let's, do let's double check our deck, okay? Um, let's see here. What, what do we have in treasure cards? Because we really haven't done a whole lot of treasure card stuff for a while. Um, I think it's about time, though, that we start adding in... Let's see here. Myth, myth, myth. Do I got any cool myth treasure cards? Do, do, do. There's Talos, but I don't need Talos. Okay, guys. We need to start really working on our monstrology. Let's see. Monstrology, monstrology. Where are you at? Here we go. Let's see here. 
Do I got any other monstrology guys? Ooh, I don't. I've got I've got to do some work on my monstrology. Usually I have a whole bunch of guys saved up. Well, maybe we'll get some fiends. I'm going to go ahead and add this into my deck. Let's go back over here to monstrology. And we're going to go ahead and add the... Um, let's see here. Where where are you? Where are you, uh, monstrology? Astrology? Oh, sorry. There. My bad. And we're going to go ahead and extract worm into the deck, and maybe we can get some. Uh, maybe we can get some animos here from these fire spitter spawns. Yeah. Yep. Because with the nerfing of the critical, I think we're going to have to start paying more attention to monstrology to help us through some of our tougher fights. Also, honestly, guys, I need to start farming again for um, for Grendel's lament because I really could use that healing spell in my deck. Really, really, really could. And it's the only, only healing spell for myth. So I really, really, really want it. Okay, guys, I see some fire spitters. Let's go after them. Okay, not too tough. So let's um let's leave frog alone. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the myth blades. I think these would be a good set of guys to farm right here for Animus. What do you guys think? Because I think having a good um, fire minion would actually be very nice to pull out in a fight. And I think it would be very useful, especially later on in this, in this world. So I think, I think we're going to do that. We're going to spend some time getting some Animus out of these guys. Well, not during this episode, obviously. We're going to keep going with the episode. But I wanted to point that out to you, if you're a Myth Wizard, that, especially with the critical nerf, um, yeah, using the, taking advantage of Monstrology is probably a smart thing for us to start doing. Very good. Now, unfortunately, when you use Animus, you can't use a Colossal in the same card. Yeah, so once you, um... I wish they'd change that, really, but hey, you know what? I understand. I understand. Maybe they thought it'd be too OP they're collecting Animus and getting a major hit. Yeah, I wish you could do that. I wish you could double enchant a card like that. Unfortunately, that's just... It's always been that way. Can't double enchant. That's okay. These guys don't seem that tough, and it's definitely a good opportunity. Like, see, I can't, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Um, let's go ahead and throw the Bewilder, be Bewilder on them, and then we'll should be able to finish them off pretty easy with Orthrus. Loving it! One Orthrus right on the thing. I knew he was going to hit. I saw his pip stacking up there. I was thinking, that guy is going to take a shot at me. And I think I was right. Okay, not over yet. Yeah, worms. Oh, looks so good. Arthur's bringing the pain. Oh, and I got critical that time too. How nice is that? Very nice. Took them all down. And um, should have gotten some animus. Good. We collected two fire spawn animus and 22 XP. That's very, very good. Okay, guys. Now, before we move on, let's take a look and see how many animus we're going to need to make a spell card. Wrong. One. Do, 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 do. There we go. So, here we go. Avalon. Fire spitter. Okay, so here's the good news is to go ahead and create a summoner card. We only need 10, so that's pretty good. We could get a whole bunch of cards pretty quick there. Now, the, where Animus really starts to go up is like if you're trying to um, create one as a house guest, or even more, you're trying to create a spell one. Yeah, an expel monster. So that's where that's that's where you know having to get a ton of Animus comes in. But for a straight up one, that's not bad. 10 Animus, I think that's like it is for most of them, which is pretty good. Oh, except for, like, the field guard. You can make tons of him pretty quick. You don't need that many. I wonder how many for Lost Souls. Yeah, six for Lost Souls, too. But ten animus, that's not bad. And if you can get two at a shot, 
That's pretty good, and those guys are all pretty easy to find. Okay, let's go talk to Sir Perry. Sir Perry, not the platypus. This is Perry Gilliam in the high road. There he is, Perry. A glorious tale of sword and fang. I agree. You are clearly a student of the legendary Merle Ambrose. That's where you see me. Years ago, I was given charge of the sword of kings. A squire, when King Artorius died, I proved myself a worthy knight. Interesting. In recent times, when the Fraudling army attacked, I was vexed by the thought of the Sword of Kings falling into their hands. I entrusted it to Sir Brennan One Hand. Last I heard, he was battling Red Thorn Knights. Defeat Sergeant <laughs> to find his whereabouts. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and take on some of these Red Thorn Knights. Okay, so very, very good. Um, obviously, we're not going to need the extract worm for that. Let's go ahead and add a blade, and I think we might even... Should we, should we try one? No, nah, we've got to wait the next round anyway, so we'll add another blade to it. Yep. Yeah, too bad it's still a couple worlds before we can start getting decks that will give us an extra power pip. Oh, that would be so awesome to get one of those new decks that have an extra power pip. But unfortunately, I don't think we can get those for a little while. Yeah, I don't think you see those until you get all the way up to, like, um, Polaris, as I recall. Here, let's put that on him. There we go. Oh, I saw that coming, Forest Lord. Dropping down from from the portal above. And then he jumps back in the portal. Guy, I got a guy has a big jump. There we go. Let's finish these these two guys out. Hey, there's a critical. I don't think I necessarily needed it, but hey, you take it when you can get it. Our leave Sir Terrence Thornwhip captured Sir Brennan and imprisoned him in the Red Thorn Tower. Well, that's no good. We don't want Sir Brennan imprisoned. Okay, let's go tell Sir Perry the bad news. That Scott Law, Sir Terrence Thornwhip, will duel with any knight. Any who lose to him end up in his dungeon. Okay. You must go to the Red Thorn Tower and ring the bell outside it to challenge the false knight, Sir Terence Thornwhip. Go inside, trout Sir Terence, and free any knights he has in his dungeon. Let me know when you succeed. Oh boy. This looks like this is going to be a pretty big fight. But unfortunately, guys, that's all I have for today. So here we are at the tower, you know. Um, first off, let's go get a picture of old Terry Gilliam here. Yeah, man, this guy is the bomb, you know? Let's go ahead and, uh, let's get a little closer. There we go. Thank you, Terry. But unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today. So, guys, this is Kieran Trollcaller. Again, greeting you from the Myth Walkthrough. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with me. Guys, if you liked the video, hit that like button. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe, guys. It really helps out the channel. I appreciate everything. Don't forget to comment. This is Kimmy Sapling, Kieran Trollcaller. Have a great day from the Myth Walkthrough. Bye-bye.